it's Jess from Tech with Jess. And if you use the Elementor page builder on your WordPress website, like I do, you may love it, but you also may realize that a lot of other people are using it. How do you know that? Because they're all using the widgets that Elementor gives you to drag and drop on their page. And that may leave your website looking like a lot of other people's. If you want a more custom feel, there are little things you can do to make your pages look more unique. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a custom testimonial box for your WordPress page using the Elementor page builder. So stay tuned. Okay, I am going to edit this page in Elementor. So I'm going to add a testimonial. So let's come up here and find the testimonial widget and I'm going to add it right here for now. As you can see, this testimonial is the default one that Elementor gives you. It's pretty, it's nice looking, but you don't want it to look like everyone else's who uses Elementor. So let's change it up. So let's start by giving this a background. So let's go to style right here and let's go to advanced and go to background. So here we can choose classic and we can pick a color. Okay, so now it looks a little bit different. Let's keep going. So I want to actually edit the name. I wanna change that color, make it this navy color. And then the title, I want to decrease the sizing. That looks a little bit better. As you can see, the text is really on top of the edge. So I do want to space this out more. So that's going to be the padding. So that kind of squishes everything in and gives more space around the text. So I think that looks pretty good, 25. So now again, it looks a little bit different. How about we add a border? So let's add a solid line. That looks nice. And now I'm going to make it a little bit more different and add an icon. So let's drop an icon. And now what I'm going to do is search for the quotation mark. Let me use this left one and change the color. So let's do that navy color again. So now it's really far apart from this. I actually want it to be overlapping. So I'm going to go to advanced. I'm going to go to the margins and I'm going to make this negative until it overlaps. Okay. As you can see, it's going underneath. That's a problem, but an easy fix. We're just going to go to this Z index and make it one. So now it's on top. So that looks pretty nice. I like the style of that. You can also play around with where this quotation mark is. You might want to try it on the left. So let's give it a negative value here. Negative 200. As you can see, that's not going to be enough. So maybe we need to try negative 800. Okay, that looks better. How about negative 900? Ooh, I like that. So now we have a quotation mark on the left side and I could play around with this some more. I could change the size, make it smaller or bigger until I like the look of it. So you always want to check to make sure that this looks good on mobile as well. So let's take a look at the mobile view. So as you can see, it's kind of disappeared on mobile and we don't want that. So what we could do is make this icon actually hidden on mobile. So let's do that. And then what we could do is add another one just for mobile. So let's go to the mobile side, add an icon again, and drop it on top. So we would just do the same thing here, add the quotation, make the margins negative and make sure everything looks good there. So let's actually just put this in the middle. I think that would look better on mobile. Change that Z index again. And there you go. So now you have a mobile view and you have the regular desktop and tablet view. And I think it looks really nice. It looks better than just having that original 
Elementor testimonial. So let's go back to desktop and we need to make sure that this one's actually hidden. So we're gonna to go to the responsive, hide on desktop, and we need to hide it on tablet. Once we do that, we can update the page and preview it to see if everything looks good. Let's view page. And there you go. So there is the desktop view. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial of how to create a more custom testimonial box using the Elementor page builder. If you want more tech tips and tutorials, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.